Hello, I'm Chris. Today, I'm going to show you how to emerge left out of a minor road onto a major road. I'll also show you how to turn left from a major road into a minor road. I'll be giving you some tips along the way to help you be a safe driver and cut down the amount of information your instructor will need to tell you, which will save you time and money. I'm turning left at the end of this road. On the approach, you'll see another road going across at the end. It's called a T-junction, as it's shaped like a letter T. This is where a minor road joins a major road. I can see some hazard warning lines in the centre of the road. This time warning me that I'm coming up to a junction. Although there isn't a give way sign at this junction, I know I've got to give way as there's a double broken line. Sometimes there's a white triangle painted on the road too. And at some junctions you'll see a stop sign and a solid white line. You'll have to stop at these, even if the road you're joining is clear. If the road is definitely clear and safe, then you don't have to stop at a give way line which I'll demonstrate and talk you through later. But if you're just starting, then you'll probably feel more comfortable to stop, make sure it's safe, and then go once it's clear. So I'll be stopping at this next junction, pretending it's my first time, and I'll talk you through it. I'm turning left at the end of the road. I'll now check the interior, and left mirror to assess what's behind. Signal left and keep left. Brake in, clutch down, follow the curb round. This will make it easier to emerge out and others can possibly turn right next to you. First gear, I'll stop once the give way line looks like it touches the bottom of this mirror. Although this reference point may look different for you as it varies from car to car and different seat positions and height. Observe properly for others but don't stare in just one direction, or you'll miss something else. Straighten the steering, use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind, and accelerate if it's safe. The last junction was a closed junction, which meant that on the approach, I couldn't see who was on the major road, because of buildings and other obstructions. Always use first gear for these after you've slowed down, as it's really difficult to see. Don't be afraid to lean forward in your seat to get a better view. And you might need to carefully creep forward to see round obstructions, but be ready to stop. In this previous video, I showed an open junction. This is where there's a clear view on the approach with minimal obstructions. If it's definitely clear and safe, then slow down and you can use second gear. I'm turning left at the end of the road, and it's another closed junction. This time I might not need to stop completely, as long as it's clear and safe. I've checked the mirrors, signalled left, position to the left following the kerb, brake in, clutch down, first gear, observing to the right, left, right again, it's safe, but keep checking, gas, biting point, smoothly raise the clutch with more gas as you straighten the steering. Then use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. Some new drivers only check to the right and emerge out without looking left, but then I could have hit this car that was in the middle of the road. A lot of accidents happen at junctions, so make sure you observe properly, especially look out for cyclists and motorcyclists who are harder to see. At the end of the road, I'm turning left. Check the interior and left mirror, signal, keep left, Break in, clutch down, following the kerb round, first gear. The kerb here goes round gradually, and I should follow it round. But some junctions have a sharp corner, and I'll show you one later. Check in this area for where the kerb is, as you don't want to hit it or drift away from it. Following the kerb round is safer as you're less likely to affect other road users when you emerge out. Don't forget, if there's enough room at the junction, then someone else might want to turn right next to you. You should give way to people that are crossing 
or waiting to cross at a junction. Approach the junction slowly and check both sides for any pedestrians. You mustn't encourage them to cross, so you can't wave at them in case you wave them into any danger. If the pedestrian wants to cross at the junction, then they'll be walking towards the curb and probably looking both ways at the traffic. Try and make eye contact and stop if it's safe. If you stop for the pedestrian and they don't want to cross, then start moving slowly and carefully. At the end of the road, I'm turning left. Check the interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, keep left, brake in, clutch down, follow the curb round, first gear, observe properly, off brake, gas, biting point, smoothly raise the clutch with more gas, then use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. Always plan to stop, but prepare to go. Make sure that when you decide to emerge out, that you don't cause another road user to slow down, stop or swerve. To help you remember, let me talk you through the routine again. Check the interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, brake, position, follow the angle of the corner, clutch down, first gear. Observe, it's safe, gas, biting point, straighten the steering and accelerate. Then use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. If you're unsure it's safe, then it's always better to stop, observe and then go when you're sure. If it is difficult to see because of obstructions, then try leaning forward to get a better view. Looking through the windows of the other vehicle and checking for any reflections in shop windows, bus stops and parked vehicles can help. Some new drivers straighten the steering when waiting, but there isn't any need. If it's a gradual rounded turn like this one, then it's best to have your wheels pointing towards where you want to go. The next junction is a sharp one, and it's also a crossroads, which means that I've got to observe not only to the right and left, but also check what other road users are doing opposite. Be careful not to steer too early, or you'll probably hit the curb with the back wheel. Getting right up to the giveaway line will help, and I've got the steering wheel straight. Looking in this area, I can see the curb here. I don't want to hit it, so I'll have to drive straight at first, now turn. I can see the curb here. I have to steer a lot as I'm moving out, as it's so sharp, but I also have to straighten the steering at the right time so that I don't swing into the curb. How much you steer varies from junction to junction as they're all different. Just try and keep an eye on where the curb is. And of course, as well as looking for the curb, observe for other road users too. This time I'm going to make some common mistakes. I'm approaching too fast and not prepared. I've positioned badly to the right and I've stopped too early, not up to the giveaway line in third gear. Changing down to first just before the giveaway line helps you be prepared to go. Now I need to creep forward to see. And I've missed an opportunity to go. I've got a bad angle, I haven't steered enough and swinging out too wide possibly towards oncoming. I've straightened the steering too late, now I'm heading for the curb. Make sure you don't do junctions like that. If you struggle when approaching junctions, or just feel overwhelmed with the amount of things you have to do, then try approaching them slower to give yourself more thinking time. Approaching junctions too quickly can also scare other road users. We're now going to have a look at how to turn left from a major, bigger road into a minor road. These are easier than emerging out of a minor side road, as you'll have priority over other vehicles but you'll have to stop for any pedestrians that want to cross or are crossing the road. You also mustn't cut across any cyclists, horse riders or horse-drawn vehicles when turning into or out of a junction. Firstly, identify where the road is. Look out for signs and markings. 
I'll talk you through the routine and what to do. Check the interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, positioning to the left, brake, second gear, turn. Then use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. For that last turn, I was driving at about 10-15 miles per hour, so second gear was best. But if you're turning into a tight road like this, or one that goes up a steep hill, then you might need to slow down more and change to first. Let's do another one. Identify where the road is, check interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, position to the left, slow down, second gear, Look into the road you're turning to make sure it's safe, and turn. Then use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. Make sure you release the clutch before turning so that you don't coast, which is basically freewheeling. If you see any pedestrians near the junction, then slow down and be ready to stop if they want to cross or are crossing. Make sure there aren't any cyclists going past you on your left as they've got priority too. If you feel overwhelmed by all the steps you have to do, then try driving slower. A lot of mistakes happen because the new driver is approaching something, such as a turn, too fast, and not giving themselves enough time to think and react. Did that go wrong? Although you've got priority to turn left over other vehicles, you never know what's going to be in the next road you're turning into. There could be parked vehicles, pedestrians wanting to cross, or already crossing, or a traffic jam. So be careful. If you can't see what's in the road you're turning into, then slow down and have the foot brake ready. To avoid hitting the kerb, keep a lookout for it in this area, and don't turn too early. If you turn too late, then you could swing out towards oncoming. Start straightening the steering before the car's straight, so that you don't swing in towards the kerb or a parked vehicle. It's important to get the routine in the correct order at the right time, so I'll show you it again to help you remember. Identify where the road is, Check the interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, position to the left, then slow down, second gear, turn. As always, keep a lookout for cyclists before you turn. Now use the mirrors to check the position and speed of vehicles behind. Signalling at the correct time is important. Too early and it might confuse another road user. signal too late, and they might not be able to react in time. If you're looking for an online course of driving tips, then have a look at our website. There's some completely free driving modules. You don't even need to register or provide your credit card details. There's a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope it helps. Subscribing to our channel really helps us make more videos. In the meantime, Keep safe on the road and bye for now.